Hello everyone, today I want to share with you my second grader's homeschool binder. And this is a binder that she uses every morning to do her calendar work, to do her memory work, to also um, reference back throughout the day in her study. So I put in things that she will need to reference back to and I will show you in just a minute what I'm talking about. So this is a very resourceful binder and it's um, kept right on her desk and I'll short, share with you what her desk looks like um, because I have done some updates but basically this is the cover here I created the cover with her picture on it just to make it more personal let's take a look inside over here on the side here we have a sticker chart and this sticker chart is to motivate her to finish her work before um, 12.30 noon so we work from 8 to 12.30 she can take breaks, she can do whatever she wants, but um, if she gets to finish by 12.30, she gets a sticker on this chart. And she should have plenty of time to finish all of her work by 12.30. Um, and I'm talking about all of the um, core subjects that she does in the morning. Um, <clears throat> if she doesn't finish by 12.30, 12.30 is our, like our little lunch alarm that we have, our little lunch bell. If she doesn't finish it by then, she does not get a sticker, and that's totally fine. She can just finish it after lunch. Um, but she is usually very motivated to finish because once she fills up this chart, um, she gets to go to a special place. It can be a park, it can be an indoor playground, it can be a museum. It can be somewhere that she wants to go. Um, and she's really motivated to filling up the chart. Okay, so moving on to the calendar. So she does a calendar. Every day she fills in the date and she fills in different special things going on throughout the month like over here Thursday she does a STEM class and Saturday she does a swim class um, and this particular day she's doing a pottery event um, and any different little things that I tell her that she's doing she'll put in here birthdays maybe field trips and so on and this is great to get her familiarized with the calendar um, and getting her familiarized with uh, writing in the calendar dates and keeping a calendar. Um, if you have younger ones, you can go over the days of the week, what was yesterday, what's tomorrow, and so on. So it's very handy. Um, and this is actually ripping apart here. If any of you guys know what I can put here, maybe some whole reinforcers, uh, let me know in the description box. I've been looking for something to make sure that these sheets don't keep ripping off. Moving on to the next things here. Here we have a weekly checklist um, and this is basically how her day flows. So what I want her to finish be 12, be, be, before 1230 is up to here because then these things we do together as more of like a family event. We do these um, subjects here after lunch and we do our read aloud as well. Um, so I want her to finish from here to here. Um, so we have one, two, three, four that we want her to check off. She also has piano as well. So this is like a checklist that she can use to see what she needs to finish throughout the day. Um, now that I have set up some work boxes for her, she's been using her work box as a way to uh, to check box things. And I'll share share with you how I created the uh, how I set up her work boxes. Um, so moving on to the next thing here. Um, these are things that I want her to go over every day. <clears throat> so right now I want her to memorize the Pledge of Allegiance. Very important if you have homeschool students to memorize um, the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, another thing that we are doing every day is just these, so these are just the memory work things that I want her to memorize. So every month we have a hymn that we also memorize and this comes with um, the CDs and these songs. I'll link that below in the description box what it's called um, but it's a great little book and it comes with a CD and every month they memorize a hymn so we'll play the song and they and then she sings along here in her book um, another thing that we also do every month is memorize a poem as you guys if you've been following me for years you know so this month we're memorizing hope by Emily Dickinson very beautiful poem um, also, I also have whatever Bible verses they're memorizing. Um, this year I'm focusing more on memorizing full passages, um, like this 1 Corinthians 13, 
um, passage, which is absolutely beautiful if you can get your kids to memorize it. Um, I love it. It talks about what love is. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It's not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. And so on. It's just a beautiful, beautiful verse. verse. And um, we don't have a, a timeline in which to memorize this. It can be a month. It can be two months. It can be three months. Whatever it takes the kids to memorize it. Totally fine. There is no uh, timeline for this. Um, here I have something that I want her to practice every day. We're doing place value practice. So I'll write a number here in the morning. Dry erase. Then she needs to write down here. Break down the number. And then write the number in expanded form here. Right now we're practicing up to the 100 thousands. So this is a great little practice sheet for her. We also like practicing time. So I'll, write, I'll have, sometimes I'll write the time here and have her do it or I'll, I'll Put the time here and have her write it here just to practice our time. And then from here on in the binder, it's just like reference sheets that she uses throughout the day for her curriculum. Um, so here's a hundreds chart. Um, here's the hundreds chart to 200. Days of the week. Month of the year. Here we have days in each month. A little poem. Um, to memorize, to know how many days in each month, and then over here breaks it down. Um, so this is good to have for the kids. Um, another thing we have here is uh, coins. So we have the the name of the coin, the value of the coin, the president on the coin, and the meaning of the coin. Like what is the building here? That would be Monticello. Um, what well, what is the building here? That's the Lincoln Memorial Building, and over here is um, what is the symbol here on the dime? I thought this was good to 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 make for her, um, so that she knows the coin value, the coins, and also what each coin represents and what is on each coin. Then over here we have again different. Um, charts. This one's one to two hundred because in her Saxon curriculum, they have her do a lot of skip counting to two hundred, and also to three hundred. So this is a one to three hundred chart. Here we have an addition table, so that she practices her addition facts. You got. She already has her addition facts memorized. Um, actually, her curriculum is moving on to multiplication now, but um, these are. This is another addition facts. Um, uh, just like little tactics that you can use for addition um, like doubles plus one little mental things that you can use to add here's the multiplication facts which she is going into now um, her book is just starting to introduce them um, then we have a unit conversion factors chart that I found online so like 12 inches equals 1 foot, 3 feet equals 1 yard, 5,280 feet equals 1 mile. And I thought this was a good reference to have here um, for her to look back to if she needs to. Here we have something that we have been doing for geography this month. I have anything in here that we've been going over. So here is like um, how to identify the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper constellations so that you can find the North Star in the sky and I thought that was important for the kids to know um, and I went ahead and I printed this out for them for her here we have a uh, point of the compass um, that's another thing that we were going over in geography this month so anything here that we've been going over here are just regular phonics rules just like really basic things like the silent E rule um, or like C when you put an E or an I or a Y in front of a C it makes the S sound. Otherwise, it's SK. Just a few phonic rules here that I have here for her. And then over here is the top uh, 10 spelling rules. So this is a good little chart. Uh, it's kind of hard to zoom in. But I will have all of these resources available for you for free um, to download. Here's Backyard Birds of New Jersey. Um, we are, for the next couple of months, studying birds from our nature uh, study book and so we want to have this chart here so that she can be able to identify the birds that come near 
um, here. And that is it. This back here is just things that I'm working on for next year for her. I uh, already started doing the planning. Oh, back here she has a little wish list. Anytime she wants something, we put it on her wish list. Uh, we only get gifts for birthdays and Christmas. So her birthday is coming up in the summer. She's already started a list. Um, and he, then here is the New Jersey's Trees and Wildflowers. A little guide. I love this thing when we go hiking. She likes bringing it. We have a couple of these. And this is to identify trees and wildflowers here in New Jersey. I'll link that below if you guys want to uh, get it as well. Um, so all of the printables here for your convenience I will have for free. Most of them. I don't have the weekly checklist available. But everything else I have available that you're going to be able to print out for your kids if you're creating a homeschool binder. I hope you have enjoyed the video of this homeschool binder. Um, for more videos like this, please remember to subscribe, click on the notification bell so that you never miss a video, follow me on Instagram, and looking forward to sharing with you the work boxes next. Until the next video, bye-bye. Hello everyone, so today Iris and I are going to be talking about pencil control.